250 years of the University of Veterinary Medicine, Vienna. This is a story of pioneer spirit, difficulties overcome, and ambitious advocacy of animal and human health. It started with a highly modern decision that was way ahead of its time. I have decided to establish a teaching school for healing livestock diseases here. With these words, in 1765, Empress Maria Theresia laid the foundation for modern veterinary medicine in Austria. The Seven Years' War had barely been over two years at that point, with the well-being of the military horses a deciding factor in the outcome of the war. Livestock epidemics and the catastrophic famines associated with them were ever-present. The Habsburg Empire was at the forefront in its recognition of the importance of a centrally managed and unified veterinary medical education. The school, which opened its doors in 1767 as the Imperial Royal School for Horse Cures and Operations, was the third of its kind worldwide. The objective was to establish modern standards for veterinary medicine and to regulate any unscientific and superstitious approaches to animal healing being practiced at that time to the dustbin of history. In 1777, the Animal Hospital, under the direction of Johann Gottlieb Wolstein, superseded the School for Horse Cures and began to offer livestock medicine as well. This concept was as unique as it was modern. Due to the constant influx of animal patients, for the first time, it became possible to merge treatments, research and teaching. Nowadays, this linkage seems self-evident. The University of Veterinary Medicine Vienna would be unthinkable without its clinics. So far, so good. Except that, at the beginning, there were some startup difficulties and numerous highs and lows. Working with sick livestock was not very prestigious, so doctors showed little interest in studying veterinary medicine. Besides, decision-making power was vested in the military until the end of the monarchy. As students, members of the military were favoured over civilians. They could study free of charge, or required to show only minimal proficiency in reading and writing, took fewer exams, and were allowed to sit in the front rows at lectures. Time and again, this led to conflict and even to bloody uprisings. Still, progress continued to be made. The 19th century not only brought numerous reforms, such as the augmentation of professorships, academic reforms, and the inauguration of the title Master of Veterinary Medicine. In 1823, the school moved to a campus on the Linke Bahngasse, which would be the seat of veterinary medicine in Austria for more than 100 years. The 20th century, with the end of the Austro-Hungarian monarchy and two world wars, was marked by copious crises. But there was much positive news to report as well. The title, Doctor of Veterinary Medicine, was introduced, thus elevating the profession's reputation. The era of male dominance came to an end with the first female students in 1922 and the first female professor in 1967. New reforms were instituted, a constantly growing student body, new institutes like the Research Institute of Wildlife Ecology and many technical advances from the first X-ray machine to the first electron microscope. And in 1996, a completely new ultra-modern campus on 15 hectares, about 37 acres, in Vienna's 21st municipal district, to ready the VetMed Uni Vienna for the 21st century. While much has changed, much has stayed the same. Now, as then, responsible teaching is one of the guiding principles. In the beginning, there were several dozen students and one professor. Now, there are around 40 professors and 2,300 students. The VetMed Uni Vienna is one of the few veterinary medical universities to have obtained two-stage and thus full accreditation through the European Association of Establishments for Veterinary Education, EAEVE -E for short. But studying at the University of Veterinary Medicine Vienna means a lot more than becoming a veterinarian. 
courses of study in biomedicine and biotechnology, equine science, and an international master's program in, among others, the human-animal relationship, are part of an offering oriented around the principle of research-driven teaching. Research has always been important. The first professors of the 18th century were already publishing important papers about animal health and the prevention of epidemics. Today, research at the University of Veterinary Medicine Vienna is internationally renowned and broadly diversified. The VetMed Uni Vienna stands for outstanding veterinary medical research, but also for interdisciplinary research in the natural sciences as well as applied and clinical research. Animal health, preventive veterinary medicine, food safety along with animal well-being, animal husbandry and animal welfare are at the heart of research efforts. The erstwhile Animal Hospital is now a high-tech competence centre for animal health. Five university clinics are concerned with the welfare of animal patients, from rudiments to pets like dogs and cats, from swine to exotic animals and poultry. Of course, horses still play an important role. This has not changed. Tradition and modernity. Not a contradiction, but a unique foundation for the next 250 years of the University of Veterinary Medicine, Vienna.